Hello, you're all very welcome to this week's episode of On The Couch, where we are joined by two very successful and distinguished members of the Quigley family, John and Martin. First of all, lads, thanks very much for taking the time out to join us. Delighted to be here, Peter. Our pleasure. Great to have you here. Um, so, first of all, I suppose we'll start with, um, can you tell us a bit about what life was like growing up um, in Rathmuir? Uh, I suppose we were born on a farm. Uh, you're talking about the, uh, the uh, 50s. I was born in the 50s, John, a little bit older, born in the late, late 40s. So it was tough times in the farm those times. You, 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 know, you had your chores, you, you went to school. When you came home from school, you, you, you went out and gave a help with the farm. And in the summers, then you helped in the farm. So from that aspect of it, it was, it was a pleasant life, I suppose. But in today's terms, it would have been a tough, a tough life at that stage. Okay. And um, what would be your first, I suppose, memories of sporting involvement, John? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> my first memories is playing in the record league with with club ball or with Pound Pasty. Um, we played we played uh, we played Kilmore in the semi final and then I went off to St Peter's and Dan and Pat were playing with with Wright Newer at the time and should I went to St Peter's and when I came back I just was start, was playing with Wright Newer. There was no discussion with club ball, mm. but my father was from Wright Newer, mm. and that had a big say in it too, like you know. And Martin, would you have started hurling record league as well, or would again you know? uh, would it, would have played for for club on in the in the record league? We got to a final, beaten by Owlard in the final. I'd say it was probably around uh, 62, 63. And again, then I would have went to Peters, and it was from there on that our kind of well, obviously we were hurling in the national school, but it was when we went to Peters really it really we we hurling was serious then really like you know, Peters had just won the All Ireland. Two years before I went there, so on, hurling in Peters was a big thing at that time. And you were you were both boarders in the school. That's correct, yeah. So I, I presume that would have meant that you know in the evening time when classes were over, hurling was the first thing that was often done. I presume. We went in in September and came out with Christmas. That was it. There was no there was no breaks in the meantime. You really, occasionally then and maybe every fortnight or three weeks your parents would come down to see you. Other than that, you were there full time. And hurling was the when you weren't when you weren't uh, in classes, hurling was the thing to do, and football. In fairness, football was very popular in in in, in Peters as well. So yes, every every evening you'd be playing. You'd be playing either hurling or football every evening. And would the experience have been similar for you, John? It would. The, the first year I went in in '61, they they won the All Ireland. Mm. Dan and Pat were on that All Ireland. It was a draw the first day and they won it again the second day. So it was all hurling. Like. Hurling every day, Ned Power, and the amazing thing is that none of us saw football till we went to St Peter's. Right. There was no football in Pau Pace. Well, no football. I, I would have played a little bit of football. Too much Pau Pace. Yeah, a well, little uh, bit, not much now. But well, then bit. when I was there, I don't remember. I don't remember football. Mm. It was only when you were in St Peter's and she was hurling nearly every evening of the week. Yeah. Mm. And apart from your own playing days in the early stages, what would be your earliest memories of? Would would there have been much? I suppose in the family, in terms of gathering around the, the wireless to listen to matches, or was it just you ploughed your own furrow? Uh, very much so, about uh, around, the, around the radio, listening to me all hair, really. Me all hair at that time. The farthest I can go back is to 60 All Ireland. Mm -hmm. I remember the 60 All Ireland, I was nine years of age, and I, I remember that All Ireland, listening to me all hair. And obviously, Wexford winning was a big thing at that stage. And I, I, I remember distinctly after the All Ireland, after the Match being over, the cows had to be milked. So when I went, brought me hurl to go for the cows, really, like you know, to bring in the cows out of the fields, I can distinctly remember doing that, really, like. And I was, I was either, I was either Billy, Bobby Rackard catching the ball, or I was Tim Flood sticking it in the net, one or the other, really, like. We had to walk a mile to see it, though. Right. We had no television. The television was in a down. No, not sixty. Uh, the, that was sixty. Uh, that was sixty-two. Was it? When Nicky Rackard or Nick O'Donnell got knocked out. Knocked really. out. Yeah. 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 Okay. We saw the 62 on the television. We didn't have a television at the time, but there was a television maybe a mile down the road and we went to watch it and there was a crowd in the sitting room watching it, really, like, mm. great excitement. And were your parents into GA? Was there a history of GA in the family or? Not really. Our mother uh, very, very seldom went to a match. I don't think she went to maybe one or two matches in her life. Uh, she, she, she wouldn't. She wouldn't watch him because she'd be nervous that we'd get hurt, really, when they were on the television. She wouldn't. It was only, if we came home safe, that's, 
she was happy, really, like, you know. Yeah. And sometimes we didn't come home very safe, really. Like. <laughs> she never even watched the match on television. She'd go out for a walk and be praying and different things, but she wouldn't watch the match. I My mean, dad used to go to matches. He brought us to the 65 final. And he brought me to the 56, 56 league final. I was very young and I, I was a nine and all the time. My memory is coming down the road ho home from Dublin to Wexford, along the road that time in the 50s to a water pumps every place where you'd stop and get a drink of water and you'd be pumping the thing and getting water. I wanted to stop at every one of them. Like, was, <laughs> I was six or eight years. I was after eight ice cream or something and I was thirsty. I, I know I had the heart of them. <laughs> oh, where was that match? Just that match was in Crow Park. Yeah, that was Crow that Park the game that that's the day, were way behind. There were fourteen points or something behind at half time, but should I, I, the match was no interest to me. It was ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he didn't go to many matches after that. He, he was a very excitable man, really, at right. matches. And I, I distinctly remember as a young fella going to a match in 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 Ross. New Ross. I think John and and Pat were playing. And I remember him inviting the referee out to fight on the line. Yeah. So and I think after that he just didn't go anymore. Minor football final again, Gushaw in 1963. Yeah. He, he never went to a match after. He did, he go to the Ireland in 65, but he never went to another match. He got yeah. excited that day. In all the county finals we played and so forth, even the 1970 All Ireland when four was were playing, he wasn't at the match. No. Mm -hmm. he, no. He just, He's obviously very passionate about it though at the same and, time. And, you know, you know felt he, too he got too excited, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got too excited, really. It wasn't obviously good for him, really. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, when would you have started playing with Ratnure then at an underage? What was the underage structure like? Was there an under-12 team or an under-14 team or anything like that? No, there was no such a... Juvenile was the first, under-16. When we came back from Peter's then, really, like we would, we would have been playing for Ratnure in, in, in juvenile hurling at that stage, really. like you know? And it was juvenile, a minor, under-21, and then obviously senior, really. I think Martin, they had you on a minor team when you were about to stop at yourself in gym. You were about 13 and they had you on a minor team, but they got no medals to make a short club on the game. <laughs> do you remember that? I do remember. I do remember, yeah. yeah. Nailing the colours to the man. Yeah, the co Should that be on the juvenile team at, 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 when I was 13 and the minor team when I was 13? I won my, two minor medals and I was. Uh, that was in 63 and 64, and I was a minor till 66 or 7, like, you know? Hmm. So I'm just making sure that... Uh, uh, at the time, Club On would would, would, have, would have been annoyed that we were playing with Ratnure rather than that. Maybe yeah. in the early stages, because they didn't know whether we were going to be any good or not, I suppose. It wasn't that important, but as obviously as we were progressing in our hurling careers, there, were, there, there would have been annoyed, <laughs> obviously. Because we're on the, right on the border, some of our land is in Ratnure, and so a good bit of it is in, in, in Club Owen, so yeah. we're right hand about it. But our father was originally from Ratnure, and yeah, that would so have made a difference too, really. Yeah. Like he, he married into the into the farm there in, in, in Donard, really. Like. Yeah. And he was a, he was a very friendly with, he had two brothers, priests then, that were very friendly with the records. Like. Yeah. Bobby Records used to come to play a solo in our house, that's a game of cards. Like. And uh, shoot, it was like winning the lotto, sitting down there beside him. And, the one thing that I remember about him, the big long legs of me, was very tall. Yeah. Big, was it, do you remember him? Not really, no. Well, no, I remember no. him playing, playing solo with, with, with my dad and Father Foley and a few of them, like, you know. That, that leads me. I was just going to say, there must have been a, a great buzz as a young lad in Ratnure to go up to the field to be able to watch the likes of those lads hurling. I saw him in the field to Ratnure hurling, no. Huh? She'd have got injured in 56 or 7, mm. and he only came back in 61. Mm. He played a bit of intermediate in between. There weren't all the matches then as they are yeah, now. I suppose, really. yeah. There wasn't mm. leagues, there weren't, mm. don't you know? Those guys were off playing for the county. The, the county championship was a knockout. If you got bit in the first round, you were gone. Mm. That was the end of it, so, don't you know? It, uh, mm. it wasn't like it is now, really. Like, you had loads of matches and whatever, really. Like, you know? mm. In our time, it became, uh, there was a good bit more matches. There was a lot of tournaments and stuff like that. We used to go off to Kilkenny and Cork and, and, and Waterford to play tournaments, and we would have played, you know, when we were successful. And I think that, that very much stood to us in the local championship in Wexford and we played so much outside the county really mm. because we're right on the border we're right on the border of Waterford and we're right on the border of Kilkenny and then we used to get invited down to Cork occasionally too really. we, used to, we, we used to go to Mullinavat every year and there were thousands at the matches but they picked the best teams to play us mm. they always give us good teams like. 
Mm. You know, because we wouldn't go on if we were getting, be playing a team that was capable of beating us, like, you know. Mm. We want a good man. That was our training, like. We did very little training in yeah. Newmarket. Yeah. Yeah. We went to, do you remember, we went to Mount Levat one Friday night and we, we, we won there and then we guys got on the bus and went to Cork. Do you remember that? Mm. Mm. And uh, we played the next day in Cork against a very strong team and we beat them in, in extra time. And then the horse, we played the horse in the final and it didn't end up too well because we won it. <laughs> and and we, we had to get on the bus to come home, do you remember? <laughs> there wasn't very much socialising after. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so these, these um, tournament games, would they have been treated fairly seriously? More, oh, yeah. than, just, oh, yeah. more than just a practice match? Like oh, no practice. Oh. Tough. Not dirty now. Tough for them, like. Mm. Uh, Mullen was the best one. Harder on the dirty. Different. It's, it was different hurling then in comparison now. You can't compare the game played Dennis to the game now. It was a different type of hurling really. Like, mm. you know, you know, nobody pulls anymore. Yeah. You know, and, you know, when you pull, people can get hurt if they're you know, in the wrong place. If you pull that time, you'll be sent home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, different type of game really. Yeah. Different type of game yeah. really. There must have been a realisation at some stage, I'll ask the both of you the same question, but first of all, John, there must have been a realisation at some stage that I'm fairly good at this. And, you know, you, you end up getting picked for extra teams and stuff like that. What was that the thought never went into my head. Never, ever, ever went into my head that I was good at. Like, I don't know about you, how you will answer this, but that never went into my head. Like, I, I just trained and played with teams and she took play with teams the whole time and playing with right new and playing with a famous club like and mm. you know uh like uh, my first time i played for wexford was in the minor linster semi-final in 1965 and i was 10 center forward and i got no smack at the ball they should have took me off but there was a fellow in dublin scored after scoring three goals but i got noel kinsler who was a great player afterwards they sent me back on him so i he didn't score anymore when I went back there. But the fellow centre back, I met him there lately. And he, he, he remembers the match and we talked about the match. He hurled me off the field, like. Mm. And, like, they could have taken me off that day. At the terrible first half. And then the next year, then went into Peter's. When you were in Peter's hurling every day, if there was hurling in you, they had power to bring it out, like. Mm. I remember in, I think it was a second year in Peter's, and Dan played Railway Cup for for, 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 for Linster, really. like He was 19 at the time. And uh, Pat was coming on to the Wexford team and John was on the Wexford team. And, and Jim was there as well. So there was five of us and I was the bottom of the ladder, really. like And I, I always felt, well, if they can do it, why can't I do it, really? like you know? mm. I always felt confident in myself that I would play for Wexford, really. Like, because they had showed me, they had shown me the way, and we would have hurled in the pitch, and we would have hurled uh, around the house and so forth. And I felt, well, well, you know, these guys can do it, why can't I do it, really? Like, you know? And I suppose the confidence of Peters, really, like you know, playing with Peters, winning Linster titles and so forth, give you confidence in your game. So a natural progression was always the way I thought of it, really. And I had a fierce interest in wanting to play for Wexford as well, which, which you know, makes a difference too. Mm. You can have all the skill in the world, but if you, don't, if you don't want it bad enough, skill is no good. There's more to it than skill. You've got to have the, the determination and the will and, uh, and uh, the power to push on with it, really. And, mm. and obviously enjoy the challenge, really. Like, you know. mm. And in, in 1965, both Pat and Dan would have been on the Wexford team. They were on the senior team. Yeah. And uh, they were beaten in the All Ireland final. Um, Pat was very young. Pat, Pat, Pat was 19 at the time. Pat was 19 at the time, like. But the, the, the Railway Cup you were talking about, Danny, wasn't even on the Wexford team that time. He played for Leinster before he played for Wexford. Really? Yeah, the, Wexford the, Championship now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But for Wexford Championship, yeah. Because of the timing of the competitions, was it that he had? Well, it was a bit like that too, really. And uh, I, I do believe Art Foley or somebody was to play full back, and and they didn't, they didn't play, so he was drafted in, really, like you know. There's Foley, was There's, it? Lar no, Foley. Lar Foley. Lar Foley. Lar Foley Could have been Lar Foley. No, I'm not sure. Yeah. So he played, he played for Leinster before he played for Wexford in the championship, really, like. Mm. And w would you, would there have been a great excitement to go and watch? Dan or Pat playing for Wexford at the time, or was it just something that was just? Would. I do would. I would. It was. A, it was. A, although Pat won a minor, Dan Pat won a minor in '63, and the won the under 21 in '65. They lost it in '64. So they had taken a few other. There was great excitement going up to see the tournament. 
we were with her dad and she was a great person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah, it was. It was. Was there had there been previously money from Rathmore who had kind of led the well, way? Well, there was a lot of famous name, yeah. names in Rathmore before us, like, you know, yeah, and yeah. it was a fairly famous club. So Nicky yeah. Reichard on his own, like, was, oh, yeah. Yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, you always had someone to kind of aim, apart from yeah. between yourselves as brothers, you always were... Someone was leading the way nearly all the time. Yeah, it was a very strong club, really. Like mm-hmm. Rathnew were very that that won championships, and they had the famous record brothers in it too. But in addition, Did you mean this up the road? Am I Martin, Martin, Martin Codd. Codd. They had a lot of great players, really, and even mm-hmm. the fellas that didn't play play county, they were strong players. They were very much competing for the county championship every year, really. Like mm-hmm. you know, before we came along, they didn't win it as often, maybe as as. Possibly, maybe they should. There was a famous Aidens team of the uh, of the fifties and and early sixties as well, which was would have stopped. But there would have been great games, and there would have been you know, mm. fantastic players really. Like yeah. John, I was I was told when I was doing a little bit of research oh for this that <laughs> oh you don't know what's coming now, of course. No, no, it's, it's not too bad at all. It's actually That's a, good, a remarkable you. achievement. Thank you, Peter, you're, lo- you're lovely man. <laughs> in, in 1966, you played in seven All Ireland finals. Is that correct? Mm. First one was draw. We were lucky to draw, and then the following week was the under 21, and that was a draw, and we should have won it. And two two weeks later was the minor, and we were being hockeyed. It was one seven to a pint, with about twenty minutes or twenty five minutes to go. And we scored four goals in the last ten or fifteen minutes, and uh, they got points. So we beat them. We beat them. We scored four goals. We scored one pint in another and another point. And um, Tosh Cavan of Duffy Rovers, I have to mention them. Tosh scored a goal from the middle of the field. Right. The winning goal and we we won it be a point. So the minor hurling went to a replay. The, the under, under 21, twenty-one went to two replays. Two replays yeah. And the other two finals were the college final. The following March, May. Uh, the following uh, when would it have been? April, May, June. May, May, May. May and uh, the following final was May and it was a draw and we won the replay and I did my leave insert and I went home and the next minute I see him a sub for the Wexford senior hurling team in the Leinster the final. And uh, 67. 67, and <laughs> a rake fellas got locked out, and I was set down. Right. So that, that, that was your debut that, for that was, the, that was my debut for Wixor. I was never in. I was never in the field training with him. I never met any of the guys like other than knowing them. Like, yeah. You know? But <laughs> but but <laughs> it was good. It was good. It was a good time. And Rathnure won the county championship with Bet Buffers Eddie. That right. was your first <laughs> medal. That was your first county medal with Rathnure sixty seven. Twice, yeah. But for Sally had only come up intermediate mm. and they were, they were a very good team, a brilliant team. But they were very nervous that day, weren't they? I wasn't at the match, I was in Peter's. Well, you, you weren't at the team. It was we locked got, up, yeah. No, they, they precisely. Go, <laughs> yeah, precisely. Went we're, in uh, September and came out in December. They could do nothing right that day. They were, so, they were the most nervous team that I ever saw in the field. But they weren't long about make, making up on it because they won the next one. Mm. In 68, they bit the Harriers in the final. And, and Martin, what you would have played on a couple of successful underage Wexford teams as well. Yeah, uh, in both codes. In both codes, yeah, yeah. I would have uh, played. I, I would have played in the football really. Like, uh, and we were beaten. We were beaten in the All Ireland semi final of '69. Won the Leinster final in in, in Carlo against Dublin, and uh, I would have played. Uh, we were, I played in the All Ireland minor final of '67, and we were beaten by Cork. And then the following year, uh, 68, we beat Cork in, in the minor all Ireland. Really. So that would have been a great, and at the same time, I was winning colleges all Ireland. So it would have been a very successful period in, as regards winning uh, at that stage. And as I said earlier, that would have given me great confidence going forward for, for, for senior as, uh, as it happened later, really. Yeah, so that, that leads us nicely on to the 1st of September 1968. You were playing in the first game. I was playing the first game. The All Ireland Minor Hurling right, Final. Yeah, yeah. What can you remember of it? It's the um, last All Ireland we've won, of course, at Minor. That's right. I don't remember much about the game. Uh, uh, I think we won to be maybe three or four points. I don't. I don't remember much about it. I remember more about the senior game after. I remember. Uh, I remember after the game when we when we uh, when we talked in and whatever going out to watch it. There was nowhere for us to see 
sit so now I went on the, on the top of the Q6 stand in, in the Nile or whatever so watching it I remember at half time I thought we well, were going to get beaten out of the, out the gate they were, I don't know what they were, much they were losing by but they were playing terrible and then in the second half then it was a revelation should they took over in the second half it was a fantastic win really like you know mm. And would, would you have got to see much of the minor game beforehand? Probably not. The first half, yeah. The first half, yeah. Mm. And what can you recall of that day, John? You were obviously... You were obviously I wasn't a happy bunny. Go on. No, I wasn't a happy bunny. <laughs> <laughs> the form wasn't good. It was the first match I was dropped for from the Vincent final of 67. Mm. I played every game up to the other. The league in all. And but I, I can't remember the league. You're right, yeah, the championship. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. No, yeah. the championship. And um, I was dropped for the final, and Shanks, Shanks was putting full forward, and I wasn't a happy bunny day, you know, but the truth. I let, I let him know that too. <laughs> I was just going to say, did you let him know? I did let him know it. <laughs> and uh, uh, anyway, it turned, out, it turned out okay. It was very disappointing. I hurt my knee playing a, a match in Dublin, and um, I had the good lens to find now. I mm. have to be honest, I had the good lens to find. I, uh, my memory is saying that I possibly was taken off that day. I had the good and stuff on, and uh, Shanks was put in full forward, and they thought I was a bit young, like you know. Mm. You so, were you're 19 at the time, I think, were you? Mm. And uh, the rest is history, like you know. Mm. You were brought in at half time and yeah. made a, a bit of an impact. Ah, a little, a little, a little, a little. Just a small bit. Just a small <laughs> bit. <laughs> and, of, and of course, Dan was. The man to Dan, was, the cup. Dan had a great game that day. I do a lot of the lot of us had good games that day. But uh, uh, Tony, Tony had a great. Tony game. had a yeah. he had a great Jack second Barry half. Great, yeah, and Tony yeah. had a great. I should. Uh, yeah. Everybody was terrible in the first. They were terrible half. in the first half. Like Tony, where was he in the first half? He started centre forward and then he forward. went in full forward. And then he went in full forward and any boy came in, he destroyed him. Like, you know. Yeah. And Jack Berry and as well. And Jack Berry was good. And Jimmy O'Brien. Jimmy O'Brien. I was kind of forward. And Jimmy O'Brien. I just, uh, they were all great in the second half. Mick J uh, Christy Jacob was good. They were all good, really. Mm. Like, yeah. And Jimmy O'Brien was good. He, 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 he hurt himself. I was on the corner and he was on the wing. He didn't wait for the selectors. He said to me, you go out there and I go in there. Like, you know. Mm. And he went in and he destroyed the fellow he went in on. Like, you know. Mm. So, I were lucky to win it now in the end. Yeah, but even even so, I think did you lead? Haven't been behind by whatever it was at half time. Ten I think we were up by seven or eight at one stage. Yeah, yeah. We were up by seven or eight with about ten five minutes to go, yeah, didn't we? Yeah. Scored two frees, two goals in yeah. the last few minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That you was a great show. The celebrations from that. Well, that, I, I, it it wasn't play. like it is now, really. Like you know, there weren't mm. the same hype. Okay, there were obviously hype, but not to the extent of if you remember '96. There wasn't that sort of hype, really. Like you know, mm. I, I suppose Wexford were used to winning. They yeah. had won the the '60 All Ireland. They had won the. They had been in the final in '65, and then they were there in '68, and it mm. was '70. It's it's when you when you're starved of success, then we, people go people go wild, Crazy, really. Yeah. I suppose. <laughs> But it didn't get the same publicity as it does now, obviously. Really. And people, people, young fellas weren't drinking as early. I wasn't drinking that time. Now. I was right. 18, you know? Yeah. yeah. I, you know, we wouldn't have learned to have no drink. Yeah. You know, young, the young guys didn't start drinking until 2021 20, that time, mm. like, you know? And would there have been any major parades or homecomings or whatever you call Do, them? Well, uh, we stayed in Dublin the night after, or in Bray it used to be Bray. then at that stage. We stayed in Bray, and then obviously when you when you when you the following day you come down and there would be a stop in, in Gorey and a stop in Wexford and and that sort of stuff. There would have been, and then you'd end up maybe possibly in the Talbot really, and after that that'd be the kind of day. That, that was the end of it. That was the end of it. You go back to work the next day or the following day or whatever, like you know, mm -hmm. you know, that was the way it was. And uh, 1970 was definitely a very memorable year for the, the Quigley household anyway. It, it so was some very yeah, memorable well, yeah, so In some aspects I was going yeah. to say it really. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the final itself was very disappointing really. Like, you know, yeah. we won Leinster and we would beaten Kilkenny and, and, but, you know, and, and uh, we, we had struggled through Galway in the semi-final. In, 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 we hadn't played well that day. But we were short. We were short. Willie Murphy and Phil Wilson and Ned Buggy and was there somebody else? No, I think there was only three. Three of them, yeah. And 
the three of them would have been, now Ned was quite young at that stage, but Mur Willie Murphy and Wilson would have been stars of the 68 team, and mm. they were a huge loss, a huge loss, really. Like, you know? mm. So, you know, and it was the first 80 minutes, the final was 80 yeah. minutes, that was the first one at that stage. And a really high scoring game. High scoring game, yeah. Most, um, that score would, would, the score that we got would win most all <coughs> really. It was 6 21 to 5 10, I yeah, think, yeah. was it? 515, I'd say. Was it could have been maybe? Yeah, I'm not 100% yeah. sure, but something yeah. fairly high anyway. Huge, huge, huge scores. Really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, for those who don't know, why it was memorable, of course, is four brothers on the team. It was the first time it ever happened, John. Yourself, Dan, Martin, and Pat. Mm. Dan and Pat had, had played in 65. And Pat went, to, Pat went to England and he missed the 68. Mm. And he came back then and he was back on the team. Like he, if they go in Ireland the middle, we had to go to. Ah, uh, yeah, probably, yeah. If we yeah. had to go to. And I'm only including me on the team, Peter. You know, if we <laughs> we blew a blade. I wouldn't I would be too happy there, right? <laughs> Um Yeah, so, it's, yeah, I think the Fenleys were the next group of four brothers to play in an All Ireland final. I'm not sure has it happened even since that, so it was something to. Serious record. A serious record to remember, yeah. Yeah. Did four records play? No, they didn't. Three records play, didn't Three they? Three records play. No, yeah. Jimmy was a sub. So. Mm. Oh, mm. yeah. And then all star awards as well, of course. They, yeah. Those personal those, accolades. Yeah. Yeah. Who has the most? <laughs> I was as John. To be, John to be quite honest with you, I'm going to give you an honest answer now on this. I wasn't really interested in the awards. Okay. I had no interest in the awards. But I was interested in the trips. Okay. Ask who had the most trips. <laughs> <That's what laughs> you got on more trips, did you, John? Ah, oh, well, when you're a jewel player, you, 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 you get Where'd you get to go? Uh, San Francisco, Los Angeles. Yeah. New York, yeah. Chicago. No, I was never in Chicago. I was in Chicago one year, yeah. I had all great trips. It's different, it was different then than it is now. We used to stay with families, really. Mm. Like, you, know, you could be. You could be lucky and unlucky, like you know. Obviously, if families are working and they're away all day. Like, you know, what do you what do you do really? But we were very, very lucky in the context of of who we stayed with. There was a family from Wexford, Cavanaghs, from Cranford. Wexford and Cranford, and they looked after us very well. They looked after mm -hmm. us. With, they were fantastic mm -hmm. trips, really fantastic yeah. trips. And it was four All Stars in a row that you managed to acquire, Martin. I think the most of any Wexford man. Which years were they for the benefit of anyone who does that? They were uh, 73, 74, 75 and 76. Mm. 76. And you were on the team one of those years as well? 74. So two brothers on the team in 74. 74 yeah. I think we were the first set of brothers to be on the, on the for All-Stars. I think yeah. we were. First, first uh, the first trip with the All-Stars was 1972 and I was on it. How did that... That was because some player was... Doubled up or something. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there, there was no Wix. Did the Wix up there? Did Mick Jacob or Tony? Me, no. Mick was on the first all -star. No, he wasn't. No. Not the no first Wixer, my, No Wix. The second year. Oh, yeah. 70, 71, 72. And I, trip and I we stayed with. Nicky Record was on the trip. And we stayed with. Uh, I stayed with the cabinets. And we were there one day and they said, we're going to. The, the first day was the, that night I arrived, they said, we're going to the races tomorrow. Will you come? And I said, yeah. I was never racist and I had no interest in racing. Mm -hmm. So we got up the next morning and we packed a little bag and we went to the airport and flew to Los Angeles. Oh, wow. And to, to the races and we went to San Anita, mm -hmm. was the name of the... Racetrack. The racetrack, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we met, they were into the race and, and they met um, some of the trainers over there. He looked after us and he marked the car and... He says every penny you brought from Ireland put on that one. He won a ten to one. Had a hundred dollars on him at ten to one. A thousand dollars was a quite a lot of money. So you were able to spend and bring it back home, were you? <laughs> that was a good trip all around. So I had a home, a lovely suit, and a tie. The tie was about that week. <laughs> Doing the horse on it. My mother's still looking at me. <laughs> Do you still have the suit? I don't. <laughs> So that was the first. That was the first. Trip. You see, travelling at those times, you didn't try. Uh, travelling was expensive first of all it was yeah. expensive and it would have been my first trip abroad now in, in, in 
1973 when I got an All Star. I was I'd never been never been out of country. Mm -hmm. So and you can imagine the excitement of, of going to America. Really, like you know, never mm -hmm. been outside the country. I was living in Dublin and whatever. Like you know, I was a student. Didn't have a, didn't have much money in my pocket. So mm -hmm. on, so on. Heading off to uh, heading off to America for three weeks was was a uh, was uh, oh it was incredible really. Like, they give you no so. money. Huh? Yeah. GA didn't give you any money. No, there was no. <laughs> they get money now. They get allowances yeah. now, like you There was know. no such thing as a GPA at that stage. Yeah. Travelling expenses and stuff. Yeah. 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 yeah, you paddle your own canoe. Yeah. Um, around the same time, Rat and you were putting together a string of four county titles in a row, which started in seventy one and seventy one. Yeah. Your first one as well, Mark. It was my first one. Yeah, seventy one was the first one. Really, I was I was twenty at the time. Really, like you know. I think we bet the, was it the Rapparees or no, the Shamrocks? No, we bet the district, district in the first one, yeah, 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 yeah. But we, I should, we had some great players at that stage, really, like, you know, I suppose with the, in 71, I'd say the five of us were probably playing in, in 71, really, but we would have Teddy O'Connor as well, Martin Byrne, Martin would have played in the 65 All-Ireland, really, like, you know. Um, so Johnny O'Connor. Johnny O'Connor. Yeah. Mike Mooney played. played yeah. Yeah. We, we were coming, to, we, had, we had been good at underage, really, like, you know, have, not having won much at underage, but we were there and thereabouts yeah. at, at all stages, mm -hmm. really, like, you know. Mm -hmm. So, on, you know, mm -hmm. to some extent in Ratnor, uh, uh, hurling would be a religion to a certain extent. Every house you go to would be, would be a hurling house, if you want to call it that. So, and the passion would be there, really, like, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, and that would obviously. Mm -hmm. Go, go into the players as well, really, like, you know. Mm -hmm. And with the result, it, don't you know, we, we won a lot of championships, really, at that time, really. Mm -hmm. And, John, I suppose everyone associates Ratnio with hurling, but in the 70s, you managed to also make three county football finals. Oh, yeah, we, we played, when we, if we were knocked out of hurling, we played the football. But uh, had we a football, any, all the years we won the, went to county finals, I don't think we had. No. Uh, I can't honestly say I ever saw football in the field in Ratnor. Hmm. Never saw football. In the field. And if it was just you happened to be okay on the day of the match, the ball was thrown in, and you were you left down your hurl. You left down your hurl. Was it? To what Ratnor were a fit team from the hurl, yeah. and you know they were. So you could play. Foot, football wasn't the game it is now, really. Like football was a physical. It was a very physical game. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. hope best be a pint in the final. Cast long best be a pint. Uh, or two and Kyle and Aaron best be the same, didn't it? Mm. Much the same, anyway. Much the same, like we should, we could have won the three, uh, but nobody cared whether we did or we didn't. Yeah. Really. It wasn't an important thing. It wasn't an important thing. Like Whereas if the, hur if the hurling was lost, there was a lot of disappointed people in Ratnor, really. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, a pretty remarkable statistic that uh, in 1974, the five of you, we haven't mentioned very much about the fifth, Jim. But the five of you were on both the Ratnor hurling team in the county final and the Ratnor football team in the county final. Yeah. And uh, did Jim, how many of us lined up? Did the five of us lined up with Wexford one day? Jim lined up one of you. Jim, yeah. No, I don't think the five of us ever lined out. I, I think Pat would have been missing the time that Jim lined out, like, you know. Jim, Jim, Josh, Jim didn't play too much, did he? He played a few times for Wexford. Yeah. And the, I suppose, there's so much, there's so many different things that could be talked about, but Ratnor's run in, in Leinster Championships at the time was also quite good. You managed to come away with... Yeah, yeah, I, I would have won five Leinster Championships with Ratnor. We were beaten in, in, in four All-Irelands, unfortunately, really, like you. Yeah. How well, many did you lose? Leinster Finals? Yeah. I'm not sure. You know, when Leicester Reynolds on the Wednesday night, they scored the goal, the last week in the ball. Five five to what's that three 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 twenty to two thirteen or something like that. Do you remember that Wednesday night? Mm. I think it was in the early years, was it? Mm. Seventy two or seventy three mm -hmm. along the area. Yeah. Yeah. We were unlucky and we were unlucky not to win an order in the end, like, you know. Mm. Mm -hmm. In the club, like in Don Garvin Martin, should we mm -hmm. we were unlucky and the day that the referee blew you off, he said you carried the ball the last minute and Pat Mild and put the ball over the bar and the beat us in the replay. But should, in the replay and on Garvin, the crowd was leaving and we were winning before or five points. We got back before or five points. The last, they scored three goals in the last five, six minutes. Do you remember mm. that? I do. You know, the game was over. Like. Mm. 
Well, no one should sort of, isn't it? Yeah. Sport. Exactly. Sport. Yeah. Sport. Yeah. Um, we'd, we'd better talk a little bit about 76 and 7, the two All-Ireland final losses in a row, Martin. They were your second experiences of, 76 was, of an All-Ireland final day. It was. I would have played in the 70 All-Ireland, which I, I was only a chap when yeah. I was a minor in 69, so I was only 19 in, in 70, really, like on... Uh, the first year I played for Wexford, I won a Leinster medal and I was playing in an All-Ireland. This is fantastic. Should I, this is going to be, life is going to be great if I keep playing for Wexford. Yeah. But it didn't turn out that way, really. Like, you know. yeah. But 76 and 77, we had, a, we had a very good team. Probably a better team in 73, 74, 75, prob probably. And we were unlucky. We, we just didn't get over the line for one reason or another. Um, um, through injury or whatever, really, like, you know, we never got, Kilkenny seemed to always pip us at the end, really, like, you know. So we got through, we kept my hiding in 1776, mm. which was fantastic. Mm. We met Galway then in the semi final and we met Cork. Now, in fairness, Cork was a very good team, too, really, like, you know. But, you know, we, it's, a, it's a game we probably should have won. We should have won, really, like, you know. Mm. Um, different times then, it wasn't the same. Uh, as it is now, should don't you know the the skill level and the training and the, and all the all the dieting and all that sort of thing now is the guys are in physical their physical mm -hmm. shape is fantastic really like you know, mm -hmm. it was different times then you had none of those add-ons or the same professionalism as a, as a, as it is now really like you know. mm -hmm. and one aspect I, I I'd mentioned too is the hurl the hurl was a lot different then mm -hmm. than it is now really yeah. like you know I mean the, they're hitting the ball so far but it's the uh, some of it is the quality of the ball some of it is the quality of the hurl that are getting more di more distance in the ball really like you know yeah there's a bigger mm -hmm. margin for error on the current uh, hurls absolutely the sweet spot is a lot bigger really like you know, <coughs> you know if you if you don't hit it on the sweet stop sweet stop spot with with the hurls that we played you just wouldn't strike into distance or you wouldn't put over the bars the case may be like. mm. and your memories of those two finals john they're not good the first one the first one was the one where we won this I, I thought the next year was a bad tough bad match the other until 77 i felt it was a kind of a wet day it was a slog a total slog but in 70 in 76 so we um we should have won it easy when should it you, you more likely saw it as well as i saw it uh, Christy Ring and Ger McCarthy both saying like that the referee taught them they, to take they could take three steps and then take three more and they hadn't enough to take three more, like you know. So if we come and went ten yards with the ball is at, like, you know. You know, but these things happen in matches and that mm. but but um but like we should have won seventy six anyway, like, you know. Mm. Well, we're about seventy seven. But the, the the biggest mistake was made Martin was between seventy one and seventy six. There were two other and it's last day I might. Mm. We should have won. We should have let one Leinster two, if not three times, of it. And Kilkenny went on and won one other. Mm. Yeah, Kilkenny were a fairly formidable team at the time. Should they? Ah, they were. Yeah. They were. Well, mm. today, I suppose they're always a formidable yeah, team. Yeah, really. Yeah. Like, yeah. They never yeah. haven't been. Yeah. No. Um, yeah. Things went on a little bit of a slide then, or did they? Or was it more unluckiness, or was it a slide? No, I would say the quality of the team wasn't a good, as good after that. Really, like you know, after the seventies. But, you know, the, 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 we had won minor All-Irelands in the 60s and we had won under-21 All-Ireland and, and we had a great crop of young players uh, for the 70s. But in the, 80, but in the 70s underage, we hadn't performed. Mm. We hadn't performed. We hadn't the same success. Colleges hadn't, Peters hadn't the same success. Wexford Miners hadn't the same success. That would nothing in the 70s. So when it came to the 80s, we just didn't have the crop of players coming that we would have had coming in the 70s, really, like, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think that even though we were unlucky a couple of times in the 80s that we didn't get, certainly again, awfully one year, we were, we, you know, we were very unlucky not to win a Leinster final. I can't remember what year it was, really, like, you know, but we were very unfortunate. But the quality of the players I thought in the 80s wouldn't have been as strong as the quality of the players in the 70s. That would mm -hmm. be my, my firm belief anyway, really. And what do you think, where do you think that came from, or was it... It's difficult to know, really, like, you know, it's difficult to know. Maybe we didn't look after our underage as well in the, in the, in the 70s as we did in the 60s, and I'm not sure, I'm not sure. As you say, different, um, the, your feeders, your, the schools absolutely. and everything weren't absolutely. as strong absolutely. as well. So. Peters certainly weren't as strong, really, mm. like, you know. Mm. 
Um, one thing I suppose we better mention is, as well, the fact that you played senior football for Wexford and won, played in a few league finals, national league finals, won in 1980, Division 2, I think, Mark, was it? Division 2, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you enjoy the, the football, or was it just a case that you were good enough to be picked for it, or what? No, I, I really enjoyed the football. I would say when I was 18 and 19, I didn't matter which of them I played, really, on, on, on a good few occasions. I played the two of them the one day, really, like, yeah. you know. Wexford were playing hurling and football, I would have played in both of them, really, like, you know, in the same venue, really, like, you know. So, and I was... There wasn't the same interest in football, I suppose. That's the the, the thing, really. There wasn't the, uh, the passion for the football, first of all, in Wexford, and the team wasn't looked after as well as the hurlers as, as, at, as at that time, really, like, you know, yeah. with the result that, you know, they wouldn't have performed, really. Like, Seamus Keevans was very much a, a, a strong football, and I'd say only for him, like, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever they achieved, would a lot of it would have been down to his, to his hard work really like you know, mm -hmm. but there wouldn't have been the same passion for football really in in, in, in the in the county really like you know. Mm -hmm. But I enjoyed playing it. Though. I must say I enjoyed playing it. Yeah. And you of course played senior football for Wexford as well, John. I did. Yeah, I played. Uh, I played in from sixty. No, we won the thing in Turlough, didn't we? Sixty was, seven, seven or eight, didn't it we? Was played in, uh, it was, when was it played? Uh, the the Opening at Atulla Park was in '66, <laughs> and it was a it was a draw, and it was uh, it was uh, the replay was in '69, and I was playing in '69. And I, I often give it, I show these people here. This is a, a medal from '66. I played three years. Years. <laughs> yeah, I was 50 years of age at the time. It took three years to have the replay. I have three years to have the replay. Uh, so was put me off in a junior football match in '69. As a result, I missed the hurling that year. Off they beat him in the first round. We were all out in champions, they knocked Wexford out. And he came back and asked me would I play football again off the in the next semi final a few weeks later. And I said I would. So they're playing a very famous for the called Tony McTeague. That's the job I had to do. So I started with that and I finished with 74. I gave up football after 74. The Dubs came at 74. Yeah. We played them in the first round. And I was tired running up and down the field after Bobby died. I said, I'm not playing any more football. That, that, that Dublin team were a team that really set a, set a bar when uh, it came to yeah, fitness. Yeah. Yeah. Really, yeah. And uh, if, you, if you read uh, the manager's name, what was his name? Heffernan. Heffernan's book. I was talking to Heffernan coming off the field. What do you think of our team? I said, you're a lot of rubbish. We're no good. Like, you know, and he puts that in the book. Well, I said, to him, coming off the field. So I give up. I didn't play. I don't think I ever played senior football. But you to a tournament the way they were playing. They were running up and down the field. They started that like, you know. Yeah. And we, we had never seen it like, yeah. you know. So I said, no, style no, no, different style different altogether. Sports. And, oh, sorry, oh, yeah. oh. Um, so do you both remember like your last games or, you know, when you finally hung up the boots when that happened? Or was it a conscious decision or... I don't know about Mark. Uh, they, uh, I don't know about Mark. How many times did you hang him up? <laughs> <laughs> a few times. I came back a few times. <laughs> I came back. <laughs> like Lazarus, I rose from the dead. <laughs> mm. My you, last one. You I, had a bit of a comeback as well, though, John, had you? Yeah, the 80, 83, was it? 3, was it, yeah. Oh, oh, sorry, we're well, Wexford. Oh, yeah, well, any time. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, it's just no, only a few years no, no, ago. I, 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 uh, <laughs> no, I, I, I was retired in. Uh, no, I was, uh, I wasn't self-retired. I was retired in seventy. After the, what year did you try to take me head off, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> we're playing the list of finally King Kilkenny. Yeah. I split him open really like that. His whole broke flew through the air, stuck in my head. He was he was getting in my way, so I, I, so I first you. minute got no <laughs> smack in the ball. So they put me on in the second half and I was concussing. And I have a photograph with didn't I show you that photograph? Yeah. Photograph like it was on Fran Nark and then he never even bothered me and you was concussed and this high bond came in and Tony went for it and Mark went down one door and the three missed it and I, I was there on my own. And the ball hopped up. And I had time to pick it and ask the skin where would he like it and I doubled on it and what did they do? Hit the post. He came out off the post, the man is going down from the flight. And the, the, after that I played no more than till 83. 
I said, no favour today, he tried you know. It was just the case that you weren't being picked, was it? Correct. Right. Correct. That's, that's, the way, that's the way it goes. And by, the way, by the way, it didn't bother me anyway. <laughs> you know, not put it through. But like, I'd like to have been there for one and stuff in Martin. You should have won. The day Tony was knocked out. Knocked out. It was terrible. What now, year? To put a great holder in full forward. A great Wexford holder now, and I'm not taking from him, but he wasn't a full forward. Do you know who to put in? Was it Ned? No? Ned Bobby, oh, yeah. full forward. Yeah. Ned wasn't a full forward. It was an open holder, brilliant holder, yeah. but he wouldn't in around the square where they'd be going over your head, and under your head. You know, it was a pity. And if Tony, if Tony hadn't get knocked out that way, we would. Yeah, but should have had to stitch him, Mark, and put him yeah. on. Should have won it anyway. Like, now, the, now the stitch him. And, yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. go on, like you know. Mm -hmm. That was one that was thrown out, totally thrown away. And then the last one I played was we were we well, were seven or eight points ahead. Beating them well, and then there was a, an incident happened, and a week so man was sent off, and the kick any man was sent off, and kick any opened up then. Do you remember yeah, that? I do, I do, I do, I do. Do you know that was 83? Mm. And we had them beaten as well, like. Mm. And there were still a few more successes for Pat Muir. You played until the 1990 final, Mark. Yeah, my last final was 1990, yeah. 1990, we, we, we won the 90. I, I started the 91 final, uh, or the 91 championship after that, and my knee caved in and I gave it up after that. I need, it was the cruise shit, and mm -hmm. if I, if I, it needed to be operated on if I was going to play, and I said, hey, you know, mm -hmm. I was 40 years of age at that stage, it was time to maybe decide to Retire really. Mm -hmm. Had a good long career at that long stage. Long career, yeah. Yeah, yeah. from and thirteen yeah. years of age, I suppose, yeah. to yeah. to then. Yeah. And yourself, John, as Laura said, like the final final game, we'll say, as such, for even for Ratney or for. The final. This is a topic you don't really like talking too much about. <laughs> you have to tell us. For, no, I'm not taking. <laughs> I'm not taking. I'm not taking. But I, I was uh, I was relegated to the subs before my time. I felt. But anyway, that's, that's history. And uh, after the club I learned to presume in, again, 87, yeah. 87, like I, I felt I should have got more time in the game and by the chance. And so I said no. And then he was 40 at the time, mm. like, or 39 maybe. I still felt, I still, f f so yeah, I had just time. To give, yeah, to yeah. Yeah, sure. So that was it. That was the end of it. Uh, we we Just both had, we both had great career, careers with Ratnor. As you said, we won ten championships. Really, like you know, yeah. which was a fantastic to to do in in, in a person's career. Really, like you know. in addition to in addition to winning, and uh, should it's not all about winning either. Really, it's all about uh, partaking. Number one and number two, the enjoyment of it. And she had some great times with Ratnor. Great trips and great, you know, went great places and met great friends and enjoyed the hurling and met great friends in right door too, really, like mm -hmm. you. Know. It's amazing that the team that's in the Club All Ireland this year, Dunloy, we went to Dunloy in 1968. 69. 69. We had to, we put on a, a show in Panamina Hall in 69. We had to be escorted out with, by the RUC. We were, we were getting into a bit of trouble, but we had to stop. No, they, they didn't want us in there. Because it was, because it was Irish nationalism. Correct, yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. It was that like. There were friction but, at the time there. It was before the troubles, really. Well, obviously, mm -hmm. later on in, the, in, in late 69 and early 70, really, and 71, obviously, there was a lot of trouble. But we were stay, we, we stayed in Ballymena for, for, or not Ballymena, Don't lie. Don't lie for, for, for two nights, really. Well, great crack to work. What a great, great time, yeah. yeah. yeah great time. Great time. They, had, they had a very average holding team that time. And ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah. They're in the, we played them in a challenge in the, game, and if I remember, we bet them, bet them easy, really. Mm -hmm. like, you know, mm -hmm. been. But they were very hospitable, and you know, mm -hmm. we had a great time. Uh, Ratnur were great at that when they went away for, 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 for a few nights. They, they, all enjoyed the crack and enjoyed it just, just, don't you know, 
they were all good friends, if you want to call that. Mm. We, we yeah, made, we, a good group. Of, <laughs> good group, yeah. yeah. You'd, in enjoy, case, you'd, you'd enjoy the crack. In, there. in case you're wondering, Peter, I'm looking over at you. We were well behaved. Right. Okay. <laughs> just, he never I, I just <laughs> Well, I'm here's a question, question for you. I have a question for you now, John. Yeah. Is oh, it, Peter. When you're on about good behaviour, oh, is it true that you played in London wearing a wig <laughs> to avoid being identified? Several times, Peter. <laughs> Several. A wig one day, Long. polish another day, and glasses and a helmet. Were you a blonde or a brunette? Or? Uh, uh, we, my old friend Tommy Ryan. Tommy Ryan was a, a, a man that was from our parish and he, he went to London as a young fellow. He worked at home as a young fellow and he went to London and he made it big and he came back and he used to bring us over and he used he bought the county hotel in Wexford but you, that's too long ago before you do but he, his wife was still alive and he was mad hurling, hurling. He won a senior championship but right now in fifty something. But um he used to bring us over, yeah. Bring us over the first time the, pol the polish me here and the sun came out and it's that one. And then the next time I went over, I, uh, I went over with a, uh, the man is dead now, so I can't mention his name, but he was a Lister Council rep at the time and he won an order and mine, I met Low Exxon he, he was a, the two of us went over, we were about 40 years of age and we had a, we had a great time, but uh, they told me to take the freeze left-handed, you know, not to be too obvious about it. So at the half time they called me aside and they said that the Felipe Brahova, which uh, is not doing very well, we're not going to pay his fare. So I ate it and <laughs> they were thinking man, that if he didn't speed it up, if he paid for his own flight. So anyway, he did speed it up and had a great second half. So the, the, the match was close and they got a free about 50 yards out and the, told me to take it, the man came to put over bar now and finish the match. And um, I said, will I take it which right or will I take it left? He said, in a polite way, now I can't use it on this, but whatever you do, just put it over the bar. <laughs> take it whatever way you, you like. <laughs> so we won it anyway. There was an investigation into it. Right. The thought of Johnny Murphy was over there. All right. <laughs> and little Johnny about the morning, he got blamed for going over there. So, so we never got that. We never got to the final. They were thrown over or something. That was, that was the good old days. <laughs> Had you any escapades like that, Martin? Abrell? No, unfortunately, no, no, unfortunately, I didn't. You're the well-behaved one. <laughs> <laughs> Should have friends going over the whole night. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Ashes was, yeah. yeah. Um, one thing I, I, we brushed over without mentioning actually was the last time Wexford won the National Hurling League you were the man to lift the cup what's the question what can you recall of it I uh, I told you I think you, 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 you remember where you were playing that day then? I do I do yeah ok uh, I told you I hadn't good memories of it. I had Captain Rack Newell to win the senior championship the previous year. So I was captain of the minor team and they dropped me. They dropped me. And when I saw a drop on the paper, I wasn't a happy bunny. But they played me cornerback. Mm. Memories of it. Yeah, it was a, gr a great win. We, we won it well now. We, yeah. we won it well. It was against Tony, Limerick, wasn't it? It was against yeah. Limerick. Tony scored two, go two good goals now. He scored a goal near the end now. We won't be five or six points, I think, like, you know. Mm. But it was a good win, but I yeah. wouldn't have said that was a great Limerick yeah. team, was it? Well, Limerick went on to win all Ireland that year, really, in, in 73, really, like, mm. you know. 73, the Bet Kenny in the yeah. final, really, like, you know. And th that's what I'm saying, we, we would have had great opportunities in, in that 70, in the 70s. That, you know, we were obviously beaten in the Leinster final, but Kilkenny got it all Ireland and Limerick bet him, but, you know, it's... I felt in in the league final we were we were a, go, a good bit better, mm. the best team again Limerick that day. I I'd say the same emphasis. I won't say the same emphasis, but the same level of fitness wasn't for the league as would be for the championship. Yeah. Really, yeah. Like, you know, the the, like the league final of seventy three Martin. We were a very fit team, for the simple reason. Now Ned Power didn't train as hard in the winter, right? Phil Wilson was trainer for that team, mm. and he trained us. He ran us to death. In fact, he was big into it. Yeah. Phil Wilson was massive into training. Mm -hmm. Massive. 
and Ned was Ned was sick, so he trained us. And I'd say well, we were fitter that time of the year than than Ned. The normal, the normal yeah. with Ned, like you yeah. know. And uh, Martin, you were a selector in two thousand and three two, and four. Three and four, yeah. And uh, one job. of those, a Leinster title, came yeah. along as well. Yeah. Right Have you good memories of that time? Great memories of that, really. Though. Great memories. It was a great victory. That was a great day, wasn't it? Great victory. Uh, if you remember, Mick Jacob got a, a, a great goal, fantastic goal. Uh, the last minute. Last minute of it, really. Like, you know, uh, mm. I thought it didn't get the recognition it should have. I thought it was a, a, a fantastic goal. I mean, he, he blocked him down, got the ball on the, on the rebound and into the hand and stuck it in the net, really. It was a great score, really. Like, you know. And the year before that, we were, I won't say within a hair's breadth of making the All Ireland final, but like we were. We, we had a great chance of it. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Again, Cork. I know Rory can... McCarthy had to get the late goal, goal to, yeah. to draw it. Draw it yeah, like, Wexford yeah. were dominating that game wonders. for a long time. There were, there were, yeah. Great yeah, game. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Great game. Hopefully, we'll have more of those days. Yeah, hopefully so. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you look back in general as, as that time as a selector as an enjoyable time? Uh, it was. It was particularly enjoyable because of the people you were working with. Uh, John Conroe was the manager and Dickie Murphy was. Uh, was selector with me really like you know and the three of us got on very well yeah. we were very good pals and and that made a difference too yeah. really like you know we could have our differences but at the same we just got on well really like you know. and you were know. you ever involved much in managing teams or selecting teams john i um i was involved in the martins junior b team but i um i, I got, got sacked by a fellow <laughs> called jimmy forland <laughs> jimmy forland out in the Pierce's town, uh, we had a, a different opinion, but we were up in Munigia one day, and we were up in Munigia one day, and we were playing, playing Munigia, and there was a, an old man at the time playing with Munigia called Ed Rousel. Oh, never he heard playing, of him. Never heard of him. <laughs> well, I hadn't heard of him until that, that day, like, and he, he was, but I, I had heard so much really about him, when he was only, I heard so much about him, he was playing, I didn't know he was still hurling. And it about to Junior B and he got a free from a hundred yards out and the, the sides were level. Okay. And I went in and asked him, was he as good as I heard he was? I tried to put pressure on him taking the free. <laughs> he told me, get off the beat, get off the beat. Did he score it or did he not? He scored it, he scored it. He was a brilliant, good he was a brilliant. Ah, good man <laughs> ended, right? He was <laughs> So that was that was your foray yeah, into management. That was the ju junior B. So I, Jimmy Fornan sacked me. So I, <laughs> I decided to give up. That was the end of your I, I was involved with Clonard for a long number of years with underage chaps and all that. Mm. Like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so when your own sons are playing, yeah. you get involved. Right. Really, yeah. Yeah. Your own, of course, was very successful yeah. in the Purple and Gold and with St. Martin's yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah, he was with the Martins. Yeah. But I never got into You were with the Martins for years, Martin, in, yeah. in Adult, yeah. but I, no, no, no. And was that a conscious decision that because you had some of your own, maybe that you'd be as well? No, not really, but uh, the, the, the Martins were a strong club and they had a lot of strong men in it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and they had a lot of good men in it as well, like, you know. So. Yeah. No, honestly, no. Well, you've certainly both been very, very interesting to talk to, and I'm sure we probably could lengthen this out for another half an hour or so, but uh, I think we've covered most of, all, most of your excellent achievements over the last number of years when you, during your hurling careers and, and your football. And the divinment. He was the divinment. He was the divinment. I, I, I knew to, that the minute I yeah. walked in. <laughs> I had to save him on a good few occasions in my, in my head. <laughs> so he deserved that mark on the head. I, I, I remember one particular day, Tony was having a go at him. And I had to, I had to try and save him. Now, Tony, Tony, in fairness, Tony would never hit him. But, but they were having crosswords, really. <laughs> right. All in... The 60 minutes or the 70 minutes. Yeah, and once it's over then. Shake it, the hands and walk off. Oh, oh yeah. We oh, without, without a fella pull dirty down on the fella's head now, I don't call that, I wouldn't call that friendship, friendship no, afterwards. Yeah. during the match. No, 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 no I wouldn't, I, would, yeah. I, I wouldn't like that. that like I love I loved tough hurling yeah. and physical hurling, but I didn't like fellas, if you want to give a fella a slap, give him a slap down and yeah. lower down, like, you know. There would have been great rivalries, at, uh, particularly in the 70s. I mean, there would have been the four clubs, uh, the Owler, uh, Borzali, uh, 
fight Harriers and ourselves, they would have been the four strong clubs really yeah, in the 70s and, 70s and 80s. It would have been tough hurling, but, but it's in later life, in fact, the fellas that were your serious flows would be, <laughs> foes would become good friends. friends and you, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they were wanting to win as mu every base as much as we were wanting to win. And, yeah. but, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're competitive, you're competitive. You want to, you want to just win, really. Like, no. yeah. Well, I'm sure that there are plenty of people who will look at this and will say that there's two good friends of mine sitting on the couch. And we hope that uh, people across the county and further afield will have enjoyed listening to what you've had to say, lads, and enjoyed watching you playing over the years as well. So yeah. thanks very much for being our guest this week on the couch. Pleasure. It's a pleasure to be here, and I, I hope that I didn't offend anyone. Or I, I haven't lost here a friend in County Wexford over our, our discussion. I'm sure you'll be fine. Thanks, brilliant. On the Couch is sponsored by Murphy's Furniture, who have been supporters of Wexford GA for many years. Murphy's have two shops in Wexford, one in Gorey and one in Wexford Town. Along with a huge range of furniture, sofas, beds and mattresses, Murphy's are now launching their carpet and flooring ranges across their five shops this December. They also have stores in Carlo, Nace and Dublin. Anthony and Nicky Murphy are proud supporters of Wexford GA and are delighted to now offer flooring to the people of Wexford 